I'm going to take a quick look at doing a Google search. Most of you know how to do them already. But uh, how you put things in changes what you get. Let's say you want to look for a video editor. And you could... And notice as you type, different options are popping up. And uh, you can go down and select them or type what you want and just make it free. And uh, you get your results. Now, one of the things you want to look at are where these are coming coming from. Uh, let's see. Here is cnnet.com. Okay, CNET is a safe, reliable, uh, normally uh, virus-free provider. Uh, you learn this through experience. Uh, Real Player is another big, relatively free, uh, virus free uh, service. Uh, they don't necessarily always work on the right files that you want. There's Movie Maker, which you probably have on your computer. If you don't, I recommend you get that. That's from Microsoft, it's free. Uh, and uh, you can talk a help desk into supporting it for you. Some of these, you're not really sure who they are. Free video editor. I'm going to click there. And I'm going to look around their site to see if I can figure out who they are. Um, there's no indication as to who they are. Um, check their frequently asked questions. Um, there's nothing here. Now, the problem I have with this and you as students is that how comfortable are you with fixing things if there's a virus or if things go bad? I wouldn't recommend this to you unless I've read about it from somebody else. So let's go back. And uh, let's change this to reviews of free. And uh, once again, you can scroll through. Uh, some of them actually lead to uh, reviews, uh, CNET once again does review a lot of their software. Real.com is associated with Real Player, so you'd need to take anything they say with a grain of salt. Um, PC Magazine, excellent. Uh, so you could check, go there. Check their article, find out what they say, see if it will edit the files that you want. And of course, they want you to sign up. They don't know that I'm signed up as a, my Gmail account since I'm at work. Uh, one of the things you need to watch out for is the date. What clued me in is... Vista. Vista's been out 
for a while. So um, I'm looking to see if there's a date. Ten months ago. Um, so you can read about these, get an idea. Let's go back to this. Let's see. Uh, okay, 2008. Dates are important. So let's go to uh, most recent one and basically read up, decide what you want. Most of these reviews will actually have links in them so you can go right to them. Here they're talking about Movie Maker again. Um, and so you can use these to get an idea as which one should you be downloading. You can do this with pictures. Um, we're not likely to get anything great here, but we can clip, click on images. And there are images that are devoted to uh, the different editors, you could put in cars, you could put in computers, you could uh, put in document cameras. And it loads down all the different types of document cameras while we're here. Uh, size, well you don't, uh, let's say you want to include it in a report, you don't want anything too big. So you go for a medium size, and you can scroll through there. And these are a couple of bugs. There's my baby. That's the document camera I have on my desk. So Google is a very, very handy tool. It's very versatile. But you need to take a look at Google Scholar for academic work.